Carlos of Softers and welcome back to the channel and to something slightly different today. I thought I'd try a bit of a vlog approach. Uh, I've come to a new site, I'm at TM Airsoft in Ulster and today I'm going to be rocking out the awesome Wolverine MTW. Although I did manage to break the bucking on this last night when I was cleaning the inner barrel so I'm not too sure how it's going to perform because I had to put the stock bucking back on. But if that fails I've got the ARP556 as a backup. In addition to that I'm also going to be trying out the brand new Pit Viper. As well as that, I've got the old trusty Glock 19, if I can get to it. I've got the old trusty Glock 19, which is more for show than anything, really. So, plenty of guns. I've checked in, registered, paid. Now, go to the chrono, game briefing, then it's game on. So, let's see how we're doing. Just been to the chrono, and the MTW is not behaving at the moment. I think the broken bucking is causing issues. I had to really crank up the pressure on the uh, tank the regulator to get it to anywhere near a decent FPS and even then it was still only coming out at like 206 I think it should have been around 280 so I don't think that's going to last probably need to mess around with the dual settings and everything else as well new bucking, new weight BBs and all that but fortunately I've got this bad boy as a backup so so briefing in 10 minutes. So I've got the RP556 to back up, which is firing perfectly. So yeah, the MTW, I'm gonna try it. So it goes, but I think that bucket is just gonna let me down. And it's losing too much air, too much inconsistency in the shots. It's just not playing ball, unfortunately. But no, it's a nice little sight. It's got about eight, nine little bays like this. I've got one to myself. Plenty of seating, plenty of undercover seating as well, which is good. It's like support loo for the toilet. It's fine. Um, um, bit of a walk to get here from the car park though. Uh, I mean, distance wise, it wasn't too bad. It was just up a big hill and down and up again, but just showing me age, I think. But no, so far, nice sight, good marshals, good clear communication. Uh, just like I say, just been to the chrono, we've got briefing in a bit, and then we'll start the game. So let's see how we get on. Let's do it. So it's finished game one, team deathmatch. Bucking in the MTW is definitely gone. Shots just going everywhere, double feeding. Man. So I'm going to swap to the ARP now. The next game. You know what? You know what's cool. Other than that, I think I died twice. Shot one person. So we're going to dump the tank. Swap over to the ARP. Swap the camera over as well. And then we're going to run with that. Let's see how we get on with that. And I'll have to do some upgrades on the um, on the MTW. So quick change around for game two. We're going back out. So so far, not great for the gun. Let's do it. Right, so I've swapped up in the MTW now. We've got scope cam on here. Scope as well. I've got nowhere to put the selfie cam though, so I'm afraid. We'll go that for Um MTW, I don't know. Well set in, but I might play with it at the time, but just put it away for now. I think we're doing King of the Hill next, which sounds like it's quite a stressful, active one. The sun's come out. I might be doing some more sweating. I'm doing plenty already. Oh, good sight though. Massive sight, 100 acres. Only made a small, very small portion of it so far. There's probably about 30, 35 people here today, so a good number. Those small intimate games. We've got a couple more games, about just went up to 11 now, so a couple more minutes to get geared up and get up for the second game. Let's hope we do better than the RP this time. Right, we get geared up. Then. Maybe not. Ooh, so, just finished game two, King of the Hill. 
really fast pace. Good game that. Plenty of kills. ARP was magnificent. Uh, just back for a quick reload, then we're gonna swap ends, do it again. Got hit about three or four times, but probably double digit kills I reckon. It was a kid and field out there. Which makes me wonder it would be like if I had the MTW, it might be even better, but still. So I was using the goggles to start with, but fogged up that game, so I'm gonna swap over to the uh, Hero Sharp Mesh for this next game. Might have a cup of tea, I know, but the daylight today is just gonna be a fog fest out there, so try it out. Also, I accidentally shot a guy in the back of the head in that game on our team, so sort of dipped up just so I was firing over his head and got him right in the back of the head, so sorry about that. Right in the back of the air, mate. Sorry, dude. You're right. Gonna reload, rehydrate, some sweating buckets now, and then we're gonna get for the uh, third game, game three. So, so far, so good. Oh, right, another update. I've been out to the Chrono area with the MTW and I have played with the well and the puppet settings and all that in the Griller FCU. Still a little bit iffy, double fires every now and then, but it seems a bit more stable than before. I think it's I think there are still issues with the bucking mode, but um but I've got issues with the ARP, which I don't know if it's the motors overheating or what, but it keeps that last game kept stopping to fire stop firing, which is not what you want really. Um so it's issue with ARP, so I'm gonna try and run the MTW again. We're just on lunch at the moment. Um, not as many kills in that last game, I was sort of around the back of the map following some guys. Got him. So I'm gonna reload. Uh, another problem is I've run out of, well, on the last two mags now, uh, 0.3 gram BBs. Um, it's bio site, so they're bio ones. So I've only got 1,000 0.36 gram bios left. So hopefully these will last for the day. Oh. Might outlast the gun, whether they're going to break first. But uh, so I'm going to reload, cool off, have a drink, and then get ready for the afternoon games. But so far, other than the guns messing around, Good day, good sight, good marshalling. Everyone seems to be having a good time. I haven't seen too much non-hit calling. Apparently there's a little bit floating around, but I've not seen any of that, so which is good. Um, and yeah, interesting game mode. So yeah, so far so good. Sun's gone in a little bit, which is, which is gonna be nice. Um, I need to adjust the hop as well on the Pit Viper, because it's all over the shop. So I'm gonna do that, reload, and get back to the next games. Here we go. Okay, so just finished game five, I think it was. Push back, second, second side. Really good. Use the ARP this time because the MTW is just not working. Got him. Lost a pistol mag though. I um, got this warrior. Um, sort of universal holster, and there's a bit of a design flaw with it where the released catch hits the heat hits your mag release of the pistol. So I had a bit of a tumble out there, and I think it must have just hit the mag release and the pistol mag came out. Um, I think we might have won that one, looking at the time, but. Pretty close. Game got quite a few kills in that one. A few people not calling their hits, but it's quite difficult because it's quite, you know, it's quite dense foliage out there, so you don't know, you know, if it's actually reaching people or not. So, give them the benefit of the doubt. But no, yeah, really good so far. Uh, 
I think it's what time is it now? Three o'clock. So might be one more game left. I think before we end. Um, ARP seems to be working this time. I swapped the battery over, and it's it works all the time. I did notice the handle was getting quite warm, so maybe it is the motor that overheats. Hmm. Good like me, definitely overheating. Uh, MTW, yeah, that's going to need some work. I'm looking at doing some upgrades on that, new barrel, uh, bucking, and maybe a new nub as well. Hmm. So, yeah, I think one more game left. Down to my last pistol mag. If I lose that, I'm going to be really upset. So, not overly impressed with the uh, universal holster from Warrior, but I had seen people talk about this issue before, so. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, oh, so hot. The sun's gone in though, but it's quite stuffy. But no, it's been a really good day so far. It's a good sight. Um, they do do food, if you're interested in knowing about that. It's like a hot dog. I think it's £5 for a hot dog. Um, they, they do take card payments here as well, which is always nice. Uh, and also they do HPA refills. Um, I think they're free. Didn't, I was offered one earlier, but that's another nice touch for your HPAs out there. But no, it's been a really good day so far. Quite impressed with this one. I'm gonna reload, reload myself with some fluids and uh, go out for the last game. See how that goes. And that is the end of the day. Absolutely sweating. Uh, lost one mag previous game and then found it in that game, so that's pretty good. ARP was playing up again though. Don't know if it's overheating or what. I'll get that looked at. So a lot of gun fixes before my next game day. But just to summarise, yeah, really good day, good sight. Got marshalled, good, good honest players. Been about, like I said, about 30, 35 players. But no, it's good, good day. I'm going to get my kit put away now, dry off a bit, and then uh, look at head and rack. So I'm getting some footage sorted out. So yeah, I'm signing off. Don't know if you like this new format, but we'll see. Yeah, really good. I won't break this place yet because I've only been once, but yeah, it's decent. Really good. So just have a little recap, it's the end of the day now. Um, I'm absolutely sweating buckets. Really good day at uh, TM Airsoft. Highly recommend it, really good site. Good games, good marshalling, and everyone was kind of played quite fair, I think. I think there's only a few grumblings of you know, hit calling, but I didn't really notice too much of it. Uh, obviously I had issues with my guns all the day, which kind of maybe overshadowed it a bit, but still have a great time. Pit Viper worked like a dream, got a kill with it at least. But yeah, no, great little site, um, highly recommend. Uh, I will be editing footage, uh, gameplay footage from this day. Uh, and if you like this sort of new vlog style, maybe you know, stick a comment down below, if I could do it again in the future. If you're new around here, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.